The House will come to order. <laughs> Message from the Senate. <clears throat> Winkler moves that Rule 1.15, Paragraph C, relating to disposition of Senate files, be suspended for the purpose of taking the message from the Senate relating to House File Number 729. Representative Winkler. Madam Speaker, uh, members, this motion will allow us to take up the message from the Senate for immediate consideration. I ask for a yes vote. Any discussion on the Winkler motion? Seeing none, all those in favor, please say aye. 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 Those opposed, please say no. The motion prevails. Message from the Senate, Madam Speaker. I hereby announce the passage by the Senate of the following House file, herewith returned as amended by the Senate, in which amendments the concurrence of the House is respectfully requested. House file number 729, an act relating to public safety. The message is signed Cal R. Ludeman, Secretary of the Senate. Mariani moves that the House concur in the Senate amendments to House File Number 729 and that the bill be repassed as amended by the Senate. The member from Ramsey, Representative Mariani, to your motion. Uh, Madam Speaker, members, uh, that is my motion. I'd like to uh, speak to it with the appropriate time, but I, I would so move. Members, there are two votes in front of us. One is on a motion to concur, and then the bill itself will be before us. On the motion to concur, seeing no discussion, all those in favor, please say aye. 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 Those opposed, please say no. The motion prevails. The clerk will give the bill its third reading. Third reading, House File Number 729, as amended by the Senate. Third reading, as amended by the Senate. Discussion to the bill. Representative Mariani. Thank you, Madam Speaker. Uh, and members, I, I, I do want to uh, share a few um, quick thoughts here as we vote on this. Uh, this. This bill meets a deficiency for state level uh, police operations, particularly of our state patrol and our DNR uh, officers. It's a deficiency that was caused by uh, their careful, um, responsible preparation for the possibility that the historic trial of a licensed a police officer who murdered a black citizen of our state could produce a righteous massive outrage as it did last year uh, that could lead to public disruption that others uh, with ill intent could take advantage of to cause uh, large scale uh, harm. Um, members, I've made it clear numerous times that we must uh, engage in a number of issues related to the mobilization of our law enforcement um, around uh, public assemblies, uh, particularly those uh, uh, behaviors that um, uh, need to protect our First Amendment rights um, to assemble uh, publicly. Um, but this is a funding bill to make sure that the resources that are ongoing for our DNR conservation officers and our state troopers to perform their statutory duties around keeping uh, Minnesota public uh, whether it's at our parks or state highways, um, keeping us uh, safe. Um, members, as you all know, the state is constitutionally required to carry a balanced budget. With the deficiency of the state's budget uh, due to the uh, preparation that I mentioned, um, the, uh, we, the state's budget will not be balanced by the end uh, of the fiscal year without uh, this action. Um, I won't share all the information uh, about the uh, costs uh, that were incurred, other than uh, to quickly highlight that uh, there were large scale deployments uh, here at our state capital, uh, other state facilities, as well as in Brooklyn Center. Um, as, um, uh, and that involved, uh, you know, dozens and dozens and dozens, uh, hundreds uh, actually, uh, officers where uh, we were uh, the uh, uh, State Patrol uh, uh, was needing to cover regular compensation, overtime, uh, housing uh, for uh, these Minnesotans, meals, hydration, nutrition, uh, as well as transportation costs for uh, the individuals, uh, officers that came uh, from Ohio and Nebraska uh, who were deployed to our capital here uh, uh, and other state um, locations in order to make uh, Minnesotans available. Uh, for um, 
uh, being publicly present where they, there was an expectation that there would be large scale uh, assemblies. Um, members, um, I believe that Minnesotans accept that we have to have changing in change in policing. Um, I also believe that Minnesotans want policing uh, to uh, continue and to be present uh, and to be effective and to be focused on uh, human rights. As someone who's worked on police accountability, who has worked on police accountability reform for several years, um, in, uh, as you, and as you well know, in 2019, we passed the very law to establish a real modern accountability system based on an early warning tool of harmful police actions that spoke to the reality of, uh, of individuals um, in a system that allows individuals like Sergeant Chauvin to slide through our licensure system with numerous concerns that rose to numerous complaints that were not addressed enough and early enough to avoid him killing George Floyd. As the author of that bill that was rejected by uh, our Republican Senate colleagues, um, we, uh, we offered it again in 2020 after George was killed. And eventually uh, that was agreed to and signed uh, into law. Uh, members, um, it's beneath us as a legislature, um, frankly, as uh, just decent citizens to wait for tragedy to happen um, in order for us to act. So to be in this place today um, is a bit troubling uh, to me. Uh, the place where I want to be, where I want us to be, is where we honor simultaneously the two things that Minnesotans value. Again, changing our policing based on humanity and accountability and supporting resources for a humane law enforcement system. But the need is real today to meet our public obligations and so therefore uh, this deficiency bill. Uh, but I want to repeat, that the need is real for police reforms. This body passed last week. Um, it, the need is real for those reforms to be agreed upon by our Senate counterparts in order to meet, fully meet the righteous expectations of all Minnesotans. We need to be as urgent over the crisis that many communities face with harmful police systemic behavior. So members, uh, today I, I, I hope that uh, we do uh, this necessary work uh, on this deficiency bill. Um, and we promise to ourselves that uh, we need to do the necessary work for the police reform provisions of the omnibus bill that we forwarded last week. The member from Isanti, Representative Johnson. Members, as we uh, move forward here to suspend the rules, this is an important bill uh, that we do need to handle today. I do ask all, our, all uh, the members on my side of the aisle to vote to suspend the rules. Thank you. The member from Stearns, Representative Damoth. Thank you, Madam Speaker. This is a request from the Waltz Flanagan administration to provide $7.8 million for law enforcement and public safety response costs. I want to thank the members of the Minnesota National Guard, the State Patrol, and the other law enforcement agencies here in Minnesota and from out of state for their work over the past several weeks to keep our communities safe. It's been disappointing that some of the it's been disappointing some of the disrespect that our neighbors have faced, and I'm glad that today we are reaffirming our commitment to the men and women of law enforcement, that we can come together and make sure that they have the resources needed to respond now and in the future. And with that, members, I would recommend a yes vote. Seeing no further discussion, the clerk will take the roll on the bill.
Members voting remotely, please vote. Will the clerk please call the names of the members who have not yet voted? <clears throat> Baker. Baker votes aye. Baker aye. Berg. Berg. Berg, no. Berg, no. Doubt. Doubt votes aye. Doubt aye. Davids. Davids votes aye. Davids, aye. Draskowski. Draskowski, aye. Draskowski, aye. Greenman. Greenman, no. Grunhagen. Grunhagen, aye. Grunhagen, aye. Haley. Haley. Hamilton. Hamilton, aye. Hamilton, aye. Hanson, R. Hanson R, I. Hanson R, I. Hanson J. Hanson J, no. Hanson J, no. Houseman. Houseman, no. Houseman, no. Heinrich. Heinrich. Heinzman. Heinzman, I. Heinzman, I. Jurgens. Jurgens, I. Jurgens, I. Lily. Lily, I. Lily, I. Lucero. Lucero, exclamation point, yes. Lucero, I. McDonald. McDonald. Miller. Miller, I. Miller, I. Moran. You are. Moran, I. Moran, I. Moran, I. Munson. Moran, I. Munson. Munson, I. Munson, I. Munson, I. Nash. I. Nash. Nash, I. Nash, I. New Brindley. New Brindley, I. New Brindley, I. O'Driscoll. O'Driscoll. O'Driscoll, I. O'Driscoll, I. Olson B. Olson B, I. Olson B, I. Sandell. Sandell. Uh, Sandell. Sandell, I. Scott. Sandell, I. Scott. Scott, I. Scott, I. Stevenson. Stevenson, I. Stevenson, I. Swazinski. Swazinski, I. Suzinski, I. I. Thompson. Thompson. Zhang J. Zhang J. No. Zhang J. No. Have all members voted who wish Heinrich, to vote? Uh, Heinrich, I. Heinrich, I. Haley, I. Haley, I. Any other members wishing to vote? Hearing none, the clerk will close the roll. There being 107 ayes and 25 nays, the bill is passed as amended by the Senate and its title agreed to.